G'day guys, what's cracking? Two Aussie here again. So, here's the deal. I had someone called, some of you guys might know her, Michelle, from All Plates Australia, sent me $20 on PayPal so I could do a little video. Now, what she said was, I will read it. i like to see a review of a great pizza from K-Town from a real pizza joint. Now, Michelle, <laughs> sorry to say, <laughs> there ain't too many left anymore. I shouldn't be laughing because, you know, and guys, it's not just because of COVID. I don't know if it's just because of COVID. It's one of these places in Katoomba has actually closed down a few months ago, probably struggling too much and couldn't make it, but, and they've been around forever. And there's another one even in my hometown that are gone. There's another one that have been around forever. Now, these guys also have been around forever, but they're still soldiering on. Hopefully, they're open. I'm going to ring them up in a sec, order it. But today, we're going to Papa Dino's, and we're getting a Macho Supreme. Please know that I'm in no way asking people to send me money. I know how things, how tough things are at the moment, and guys, hang on to your money. Don't start chucking it at me. There's other things to spend it on at the moment. But having said that, let me say this. The reason why I'm telling you what Michelle did from All Plates is because I want you to go over and watch her, watch her videos and subscribe to her channel, and let's pump her up to a 1,000. She's on 300 and something now. Guys, I'd love to see it, and you'll love to watch it. So, guys, go over and check out All Plates Australia. I'll put a link down in the description. So I better ring up Papa Dino's, check out if they can do this pizza for me. Now, it's going to be a bit of a pricey one, but hopefully it'll be a delicioso one. So I'm going to order this thing, head into Papa Dino's, and I'll circle back to you with the goods. See you soon. G'day guys, what's cracking? Two Aussie here again. So today we're heading off to Hose Palace. Now, Hose, yeah, I know what you're thinking. No, it's um actually called Hose Palace. So <laughs> it's a Chinese restaurant. Now, guys, even though it's my local Chinese, it's been a long time up until recently that I've gone there. But what I'm going to do today is, I'm going to ring them up. I grabbed their menu not long ago. Apparently they have a lunchtime special. So yesterday, uh, this is my second day in a row trying to do a video yesterday i attempted to get a pizza in katoomba the guys were closed a place that's been open for years forever closed so that's why we're doing chinese today so anyway lunchtime special where is it so this is a bit of an old menu it's over a year old but they've got a ten dollar ninety lunch special from 12 till 2 only any any beef chicken lamb pork dish plus Cider fried or steamed rice. Now that sounds pretty good. Now it sounds like I'm scabbing out a bit, $10.90, when we're trying to support the locals. But like I said, I have actually been there a few times lately. I don't actually film everything that I eat. So um, I'm going to ring these guys up and make sure they're actually open because I don't want to drive down there and once again, nobody's there. So let's give them a tingle. So what I'll do is I've got their Google page up here. Much easier that way. Closing soon, it says. O reopening at 5, so I better hurry up. It's one th about one thirty now. But where's the number? Call. Let's do it. Starting to look like another fail. And once again, I'm all dressed up and nowhere to go. Please enter your remote access code. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> no, I don't have a remote access code. Let's check out the number on here. Is it the same? Yep, same number. So once again, another place closed at lunchtime and they're usually open. So let's try again just in case. Hello. Hello, I was just wondering if you were open. You're not open for lunch? Not today, sorry. 
Okay. No, that's that's fine. Thank you for that. Sorry. Bye bye. Bye bye. Sorry about that. That's cool. <laughs> Another one closed. Open at five o'clock, but normally they're open for lunch. So, what do you do? That's it, guys. It's over. <laughs> So guys, the struggle is real. It's getting very hard for me to go out and do videos. So, and then from tonight, it's going to get even harder. These people, these some of these places have been around forever. That place has been open since 1980 something. The pizza shop I went to yesterday, that's been open pretty much just as long. They're probably still open in the afternoon, but even that's going to stop the way things are going. So guys, I don't know what direction we're going in next, but. We will come up with something. I'm not going to talk about this COVID thing because there's a lot of talk. All anyone does is talk about this thing. There needs to be more action rather than talk. Us talking about it isn't going to fix anything. So we may go live. Partly why I don't want to go live is because I know it's going to be just overrun with COVID problems and questions. If we can keep it to being entertainment and not going into that area, I'd be quite happy to do it. Not because I don't want to talk about it, because like I'm saying, it's just too much talk, you know. You're getting bombarded everywhere, news, media, social media. It's just becoming overwhelming, even for me. So, guys, I'll do a few home things. I've got a few things in the freezer, but even that, it's, it's, <laughs> it's going to be hard for me to even go to Aldi anymore because it's more than five kilometres away and we're locked down. So maybe they'll, uh, you know, uh, like I said, I'm not going to go on about it, but I'm just showing you how hard this is to do. And I'll actually put a bit of footage of yesterday's as well. I got dressed up the same, I was all ready to go. And because I only wore this shirt to go out, go down the road and come back again, or just go down the Katoomba, that's why I'm wearing the same get up again. So guys, I don't wanna make it like into a bummer, but it is getting difficult and I don't know what I'm gonna do next either. But like I said, don't worry about me, I'm fine. Worry about these people who aren't fine and they're having a hard time. So guys, I'm not going to say if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. You can give it a thumbs up if you want. And this subscribing thing, you know, it's still going along. I'm getting subscribers, no matter what happens. But if you don't hear from me much, it'll only be because I haven't got much to do. So we may go live every night of the week. Who knows? I have to decide that myself. But maybe in a day or two. Anyway, guys, stay fresh, stay strong. And I hope we all come out of the other side. <laughs> we, we, some of us won't but that's the whole thing about this like I said no good talking about it just I feel for everyone so thanks guys so there will be no food today actually you know what let's do quickly do something this is what I was going to bloody do in the video anyway sitting in my backyard let's have a little beverage you know we're not going to say hooroo yet. I don't give up that bloody easy. So today's little beverage, you know, without any food. <laughs> there will be food next time. The other day I was at Aldi and I got a Mother Energy drink for two bucks. Now, to me, that is a totally eat to little deal. Having said that, let me say this. It's usually only $2.75, uh, 79 at Aldi anyway. So let's crack it open. And pour it in. Almost looks like a beer, doesn't it? Ghibli. Now, I could jokingly say this is what I've been reduced to, <laughs> just having energy drinks, but realistically, guys, in my world of what I do here and what you see, I can do anything, really. I, I'm still not that restricted. It's up to me to push myself and get it done. Even if it's not what we're used to, even if it's a bit more boring or, and I mean, it's not that exciting anyway, usually, but you know, see, I can still have a bit of a laugh about it, but I know there's plenty of people out there that aren't laughing and aren't in a good situation, and I really feel for you guys. So, I raise a glass to you and hope, I can hope, but hope is not going to fix anything either, but hopefully things will improve for you guys. And like I said, if you're concerned about me, please don't be, I'm fine. Now... A little something I just do want to mention is um, 
you know, I went to try and do that pizza video yesterday. Now I could have done it. They probably were open at five o'clock, but normally they're open till mid from midday onwards till till nine thirty. So I probably could have went later. But then it's getting dark. You don't want to go out. It's bloody cold at the moment, you know. And I'm not being a sook. I know there's bigger problems going on in the world whether than whether I get a pizza. But what I'm getting at is somebody named Michelle from All Plates. Her plate, her channel is called All Plates Australia. She sent me twenty bucks on. Um, PayPal, which really surprised me with everything that's going on at the moment. And thank you, Michelle. But I'm thinking I might have to refund you and send it back because she wanted me to do a video of a pizza. That's why I was going there. And things, uh, like I said, they're, they're not going great here like most places. And the pizza place was closed. There was, But she wanted a, a video of a decent pizza, like from a proper pizza shop. And this place is called Papadino's. I may get there again one day. They were very pricey, to be fair. But... I was willing to go and do that when someone's given me 20 bucks. Um, that probably won't be happening. And there was also, there has, was another one called Renee's and both of those places in Katoomba have been open for yonks. So um, Renee's actually went out of business a few months ago, as far as I know, but they're out, they're gone now. The, the place is up for rent. And I actually used to work there as a delivery guy years ago, and they were the best pizzas in the world. But I don't know what they were like before they quit. But I would say being a touristy area and not even having international tourists coming up here, that sort of put them out of business too. And that's happening for a lot of people in Katoomba too, only because it is a touristy place. But we've we've touched on that before. I may get back to that one. Maybe when daylight savings comes and it's, it's lighter, I can go and get a pizza and sit somewhere. So guys... We'll see what direction, but don't worry, you're not getting rid of me that easy. I will be back. I've got to tell you, I'm not too impressed with Arnold Schwarzenegger at the moment after the shit I've seen him posting on social media too. But that's another story, and like I said, we're not going to get caught up in that. So guys, I raise a glass to all of you, and I will see you again, but hopefully we'll all come out on the other side and stay fresh. I'm not going to say stay safe because I don't feel like I'm in danger. Stay fresh. Huru. Oh, five out of five for taste and five out of five for value. <laughs> you love to hear it.